hi welcome to this session so in this session we are going to talk about statistics so again these uh, series is continue if continue series we are talking about uh, so many things like how to improve the SQL performance tuning in previous video uh, we have seen about that uh, cluster index and non-cluster index the uh, creation and what are the benefits while creating a cluster index and what are the disadvantage that you are going to face when you're creating an index so these things that we have discussed uh, in the previous video in case if you don't watch that video please go and watch it I'll give the link in the below subscription in this series again you know uh, we are going to talk about uh, statistics so in SQL the statistics is very important uh, thing that we need to consider when it comes to uh, performance tuning let us uh, see what is statistics and then what how, how, how to create the statistics how to maintain the statistics what are the items that we need to consider uh, to improve the SQL performance in statistics we'll see uh, in more detail in this video okay here uh, this is statistics uh, statistics is the object it's contain the statistical information about the uh, column I mean it may be a one or more columns of a table so uh, it will collect all the information uh, about the table like uh, number of rows which is having what is the uh, type uh, how many rows that exact the table which is having those details uh, met in the statistics and when you're creating a table the uh, SQL will automatically create the statistics about that I mean the information about that table uh, what is the use of statistics okay uh, suppose for an example you are passing a query uh, to get data so basically even if it is simple query or it's a complex it always go through the query optimizer query optimizer it will uh, use the statistics uh, details and it will give the uh, estimation plan for the query uh, so based upon the estimation plan the SQL will allocate like uh, the hard drive I mean the space and the RAM for to execute the query so uh, here that the execution plan will make big role uh, to get the proper output in case if you if you don't have any updated statistics report you will not get the proper output from the SQL so that is that is the reason we have to always maintain the statistics for a uh, statistics about that particular table okay uh, this is the uh, uh, overall uh, definition about the statistics as I said this is very very important in order to make it uh, table as up to date about the statistics report so, uh, you, so, for, so what will happen if, if there is in a poor execution plan? If we, if the if the optimizer uh, gave the poor execution plan, uh, you don't get the output on a given time. It might take more time because the SQL allocate uh, space and then RAM for the query, or something like a two MB or some some space for the query. But if the if you have more data in the table case if it's not updated in the statistics report you don't get the proper execution plan so that is the reason uh, we will always have to check the statistics whether it is on but basically actually uh, when you're creating a table or when you're creating a primary key that the statistics the skill will automatically create the statistic report you don't need to do anything uh, explicitly but if you switch off that statistics then again it's a problem so you al you always have to make sure that statistic is on in the SQL database okay let me go to the next slide uh, we'll discuss how to create statistics as I said right SQL server automatically create a statistics when you create a table with the primary key when you rebuild the index automatically even if you create any index like a cluster index or non cluster index the statistics is updated the default by default it will automatically update unless until if you don't turn it off it will update all the uh, statistic report automatically I'll show you in demo uh, wh where we need to uh, check the weather statistics on or off in the database. I'll show you everything in the demos uh, section. I hope it's clear now. Uh, so in this slide, we have seen like what is statistics and what is the uses of statistics, and then uh, how to create the statistics. So those details I think uh, we have covered. With that, maybe we can move on into the demo session. Okay. Uh, this is in first you have to go to database properties here my database is test so I just I right click the database and then choose the properties option so you will get this kind of an, uh, window so here you need to go to option and then you have to check this auto create statistics it should always be true by default it is it will be always true and this one you have to check and then auto update statistics also you have to check these two things it is uh, mandatory it should be in only in true 
if you make it as a false then it will affect the performance in your database so when you're going to check your uh, database performance you these things that are you have to check uh, whether if it should be always in true and then uh, these two options should always be in the true status okay next i'll show you how to uh, uh, i mean um, the statistic reports will help us to get, uh, i mean the give the better execution plan i will show you by being running as some query okay i take this table as a product i mean here we have a Here, if we have, if we just go to that execution plan, um, I'm just going to run this Dis display estimation, ex estimation execution plan. You have to choose that option. It should be here. Uh, see, this is display estimation execution. Just you have to click this one. It will give the uh, no estimated execution plan. If you see here, here it's giving the details like estimated number of rows is. 504 okay this is the estimation for this estimation if you see what is the estimation IPO, IO cost it has some value CPU cost it has some value these are all the estimation for this query okay the optimizer the help of the statistics report it's giving this kind of an execution plan okay in case if the statistics is not updated or if it is set up as a false then you don't get in a proper estimation plan that is what that is the reason you have to be make sure those option be always set as, as on okay now if you see this is the uh, estimation plan we, actually the true uh, the query is not executed but this is we are showing we are this giving the plan for that query okay now the total rows is showing us 504 okay now we'll see we'll run the execution and check okay if you see here that total number of rows is 504 it's proper I mean the execution plan has got matched with that uh, uh, exact estimation plan okay there'll be no difference in this kind of an execution because the statistics is up to date okay now okay now we will add some more data in the table and we'll see uh, what is the execution plan now so now I'm going to add some more uh, rows I mean data in that product table okay now we have uh, more than 504 so now if we the total uh, rows would be like 1008 rows in this table now you will see that execution plan now display estimate execution plan I am checking if you see the execution plan is 1008 so now it's got see uh, it's automatically updated the statistics is updated automatically now if you see the estimation number of rows is 1008 sometimes you know it will take some time to update the statistics so those time if you want to push that you no know, statistics we can manually push to update the statistics but you know this is this, in this database we have very less number of tables I have only one table actually so but that is the reason it is updated immediately the statistics report got updated immediately sometimes it has taken some time in those time you know you don't get the exact uh, number of estimated number of rows there may be that time maybe if the search is not updated still it will show the old values old number of rows so that time you no know, the execution plan the estimate execution plan and the current execution plan might be different so that time the performance issue might come but uh, we no need to worry about all these things because SQL automatically um, updated the statistics report in case if you want to update manually maybe you can use this uh, syntax update statistics and then you know table name if you give this you no know, it it's manually I mean now manually that we are pushing uh, the statistics to update this table but uh, it normally you don't need this kind of you know, uh, query because SQL uh, take this kind of action automatically we don't need to worry about uh, all these things but uh, no but we must know what is that we must know what is statistics and then what are the how statistics play a big role uh, when it comes to know SQL performance 
so now we have learnt what, what what are the statistics how it's play a role uh, to create you no know, estimated execution plan how that plan the query optimizer is creating by using the statistics and when you executing that query uh, the how that you know cpu cost and memory how that you know query optimizer is determined by using this kind of one statistics report so the statistic report is, is a, a it has to be always you know should be on it otherwise you know it won't the performance might be and uh, decrease the database i hope this session would be helpful in case if you have any comments about the statistics please know uh, give your comments on that uh, that comment box thank you all thanks for watching